to my channel. So I'm continuing on my journey of trying to make more homemade items. I used to make homemade bread, oh gosh, in like 2018. I was very consistent. I would make a loaf like every other day because we would eat it so quickly. So this is the last bit of store-bought bread that I have. And I was gonna make two different recipes and then I realized one of the recipes calls for dry milk. And I was Googling how to substitute that and it was just too much for my brain to handle. So we will not be making two recipes. I'm just gonna double the recipe that I used to make. So let's get started. I have my helper, Penelope. She's gonna help me make my bread. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay, so the first thing I have is one and a third cup of water and you want it to be warm. So like 100 degrees and this is way too much. So I'm just gonna wait a couple seconds because it'll start going down quickly and then i'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of active dry yeast we're just going to mix it a little bit let it sit okay and then you need four cups of bread flour and then you need one and a half teaspoons of salt and a half teaspoons and then two tablespoons of sugar and then two eggs I forgot the butter, so you need one third cup butter, and I also forgot to put it out, like at room temperature, so I just melted it in this pan. I don't know if that will affect it any, but we will find out together. And then I have the water with the active dry yeast in it. I don't think it's done, but I'm just gonna add it anyways because I'm in a rush. I could really be messing up this recipe. So I just let this mix the dough for six minutes because I made cinnamon rolls this weekend and that's what they said to do. But you don't have to because I've made this before and I didn't do any of that. I also don't like touching dough with my hand, but here I am. Oh dang, look, whoops. I forgot to scrape the bottom before I needed it for six minutes. Oh, look at this, it's not even mixed. Okay. Oh wait, what did he do? I forgot. He did like this. He did like this. He did like this. I need more flour. And then, what did he do? I forgot. Rolled it over. Roll, 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 roll. And then. There, it's a ball. Now I just have to figure out how to get it in the bowl. Boom, I did it! Woo! So now I have plastic wrap on it. We're gonna leave it over here for one hour. So now I'm gonna clean this bowl and make the second recipe. It will be just a smidge different because I'm gonna keep it in this bowl to rise. And the butter I'm using is room temperature. It's not liquefied. All right, so I'm making my second dough and it, it doesn't look the same as the first dough. I put the same ingredients in, I just added them at different times. So I'm gonna mix the second dough for six minutes again and hopefully it doesn't look as wet because I don't know how to fix this dough if it doesn't come out right. So we will see how it turns out once it's done mixing. So my first dough has been sitting for one hour. I'm going to knead it some and then let it sit again for another hour. I don't know what I'm doing right here, so you guys do not copy my technique. Kneading dough stresses me out. Like, I don't understand how people do it and not have anything stuck to their hands. I know I put flour in my hands, but it still doesn't work. I just can't figure that part out. So I'm trying to make my, oh good. I'm trying to make my bread look pretty, but it's very difficult. I've never done that when I used to make bread and you know, it, it still came out fine, it tastes fine. It's just, it looked a little rough. And my dough kind of looks okay. So I'm gonna roll it on the counter, like I did the last one, and then just put it right back in this bowl. Okay, so my first dough is ready to be put in the oven, but then I realized I forgot that I should have put it in the pan when it was rising the second hour. This is really... <laughs> I need to take some notes because I haven't made this recipe in two years, which means I don't remember anything and I'm trying to incorporate what I remember from my cinnamon roll recipe this weekend 
to this bread recipe and you know I just kind of like jumped into this without doing more research I was just like eh, I remember it's like second nature it's not at all it's not at all so now I have to get this dough into this pan and not make it look crazy <sighs> And then this one is almost ready to be kneaded again. And then it will rest for one more hour. So two hours total that the doughs are resting. All right, so I'm going to attempt to knead the dough again. And still, I haven't done any research on kneading dough. I just did the foldy and roll thing from my cinnamon roll recipe and ta-da. So I put the bread in for 20 minutes at 350 degrees. That bread, just by the size of what the loaf looks like now, it's gonna be ginormous. It's supposed to be a two pound loaf, so we will see how big it gets. I assume it's gonna be a monster. Okay, so I learned my lesson with the last one. I'm gonna pull this out and then let it rise again in the pan. You guessed it, y'all. I still don't know what I'm doing when I'm kneading this dough. So I'm just pulling it out, foldy, foldy, roll, and put it in the pan. Whoopee. It's been 20 minutes, and the bread is very large. Oh my goodness. I am not a professional bread maker. I just used to make bread for my family, and I'm checking to see if it's done, but I have to make this huge hole oh look at that no so I'm gonna do like 15 more minutes so this I'm sure will get bigger you guys this bread is out of control look at it it's like a double-decker bus try again <laughs> please be done I need to go to the bank oh my goodness not even close Okay, I just put the bread in for another 10 minutes. So, I don't even know how long that's been. 20, 30, 40, I don't know. I didn't even look up how long to cook the bread. I didn't knead it very good because I think there's a lot of air in it, which is why it's getting so huge. Um, Lots of mistakes being made. Even though it does look ridiculous, I just need it to taste good and then I won't feel like I just wasted hours of my day trying to make it. Because in about 20 minutes, the other loaf of bread is gonna be done, and then I need to put that in the oven, and I need to know how long to cook this dang thing, because uh, this is taking a long time. This is, <laughs> this is the first one. It does kind of look like a double-decker bus. Let's see. Yeah, it's large. It's also large. Look at this air bubble. I don't know how to not have, whoops, air bubbles. So I'm gonna put this in the oven for like 50 minutes. They both look, this is the one I just pulled out. This one's more cooled down. I'm gonna show you how I cut it. When I first started making homemade bread, it really stressed me out that the slices would not be even. So I got this thing off Amazon and I have this marked as like my preferred size because you have like little, medium, and then large slices. So I'm gonna cut it and see what it tastes like. Do you want to try it? Yeah. The inside. Try it. You want to try it, Sophia? It's very pretty. I like it. Oh, yeah, that's good. Can you try it? Take a bite. Oh, Sophia won't try it. So it tastes just like I remember. So I did get the recipe right. It's just my loaf looks crazy. And I probably need to work on my kneading skills. So I have these bags from two years ago for the bread to be in. I need to see if there's like a reusable bread bag. I have a bread box, but it's not airtight. It's literally just a box on the counter that you put the bread in. So that's how my bread is made. And it's not pretty. It's not professional. But the bread tastes really good, so I don't really care what the loaf looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Say bye. 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 bye.